Our today's theme project is inspired from this luxury brand as this dress is a part of their 2021 collection. So it's a current trend. So yeah, without any further ado, let's quickly dive into the video to see the procedure. Let me go with, there's no doubt it. Gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me. Now you're everywhere I see. First, we will be preparing the sleeves. Begin by folding the fabric widthwise and then measure from elbow to wrist. Take that measurement and place it on this strip. Once it's marked, cut that strip. The second strip will be shorter in width, however, the length will be the same. Now, double fold and hem the edges or bottom part. Repeat the same procedure for the other strip also. And I decided to add the horse ear hem in the shorter strip as I wanted to give more dimension to the ruffles so yeah you can skip this part if you want once it's done it's going to look like so now we will be preparing a base for our sleeves so as to hold the two layers of ruffles to create that base we are going to take a strip of fabric fold it in half and then we are going to wrap it around our bicep area to determine the length and width required now see on the top as well as the bottom part of this strip once done we are going to turn it to the right side now take the strips that we prepared earlier and place it on the base like this good side facing each other and then we will be making pleats adjusting that big strip here on this base and then once done we will be sewing it to secure it in place and then we will be adding the second layer and once we are done with pleating that second layer too. We are going to sew it to secure it in place. Now flip the sleeve to the wrong side and then sew the side seams once done. Turn it to the right side and in a similar way we will be preparing the another sleeve also. For dress part, we need to cut up a strip of fabric to form the bodice part or the top part of the dress. Measure from upper waist to waist and then place that measurement here on this fabric. Once done, cut it out. This will be the width of the strip. For length, we need to take our upper bust circumference and down we will be adding 10 inches extra. Hold the top as well as the bottom part to make casing for elastic. Once done, divide the fabric into equal parts. One will be the front panel and the second will be the back panel. Now comes the skirt part. The front panel of the skirt has two layers. However, the back panel has only one. For first layer, measure from here to here and then mark this measurement here on this fabric. Now fold the fabric from here and then cut it out. To form the front as well as the back panel of the skirt, we need to cut strips of fabric. The dimensions are mentioned on the screen. The width of the strip will be the desired length of the skirt and the length of these two strips will be 40 inches. Now we will be connecting both the top as well as the bottom part to form the dress. Take your bodice part and then place that first layer here on the bodice part. Make pleats and then pin to secure in place. Once then sew here to connect the first layer and then we will be adding the second layer. Make sure you sew below the casing not on the casing or you will end up blocking the channel for elastic. In the similar way, prepare the back panel. Now it's the time to insert elastic. For top casing, we need to wrap it around our upper bust area. 
Now divide the string of elastic into equal parts and insert half of the elastic in front and half, the half of the elastic in back panel. And to determine the length of elastic, it needs to be inserted in the bottom casing. We need to wrap the elastic around our waist area. Placing both the panels good side to good side, I'm going to sew the side seams. 